Hello, I am going to be leading us through an exercise um, for seeing from the soul, the higher self, the deeper self, the self with a capital S. We have lots of names for this experience of stepping back from being purely in what I like to think of as, as an unaware state, in this state where our thoughts are having us instead of us having our thoughts. Now, this is a great practice. You can add it to your quotidia. You can do it anytime you start to feel stressed or disconnected, disoriented, not grounded. It's a really simple exercise. Um, it only takes a few minutes to do. The basic question we are going to be exploring is who is it that is perceiving the thoughts and experiences I am having? Because as the great William James and others, Carl Jung, so many um, observed that the unique experience of human consciousness is that we can expand our consciousness to become the observer of ourselves. So as humans, we have the ability to be both the one having the experience and the one observing us having the experience. And that this, this ability we have is a demonstration of that deeper self, whether in a purely psychological sense, like with Jung and James, but they also veered into the more esoteric, the more spiritual, what we might call spiritual today. They wouldn't have called it spiritual back then, but the more broader or more soulful understanding that we are so much more than our thoughts, what we're doing in the moment, all of these things. So like I said, the question we are exploring is who is it that is watching me have these thoughts, these experiences, these emotions. And we're going to connect to that deeper self through this exercise. So I encourage you to get comfortable. You can close your eyes or soften into the candle, whatever is more suitable for you. It's a very simple exercise. So let's close our eyes. And let's just take a few breaths, make sure our feet are relaxed. If we're sitting in our chair, if we're sitting on the floor, just make sure your legs are relaxed. I want you to let go of any tension in your hips. You can just breathe into them. And just start noticing your breath. We do this, of course, all the time in meditation. And this time we're going to do it a little bit different because we're going to explore our question. Who is it that is perceiving your breathing? Your body is breathing. Breathing is an automatic process. And yet, of course, breathing is so much more. And we can regulate our breathing. We can pull it deeper like we are now. And we can make a nice long exhale. By bringing the breath into conscious awareness, what was below the surface as an automatic process becomes a conscious, intentional purpose, purpose-driven activity that we engage in. So just stay here for a moment or two. Observing yourself, 
controlling your own breath. You might even say to yourself, I am taking my breath deeper. I am using my breath to connect. I am using my breath to ground. I am using my breath to clear my busy mind. And even while you say those things, notice that there is a perceiver of you saying those things to yourself. And that is our deeper self. And this simple exercise is a reminder that there is a greater us, sometimes called the watcher, the higher self, the soul. We have so many names for this. But even through little consciousness raising exercises like this, we start to connect to that part of us that is so much greater than our physical forms. Now let's take this exercise just a little bit further. Now I want you to stay with your breath. I want you just to let any thoughts that come into your mind just let them come in. And if you're a visual person, you might see them. You might just know them. Whatever those thoughts are. No judgment here, no pushing them away. Just let them come into your mind. Now again, activating that deeper self. See yourself having those thoughts. So if we are the ones seeing the thoughts, then we are so much more than any thought. And a thought is just a thought. Some are great ones that we latch on to and build big plans out of and really change our lives. And some thoughts are honestly just random neural firings or misfirings. Some of them are just those voices of others that conditioning we're recovering from. And when we expand our consciousness to see that we are just having thoughts, we can see them like pieces of paper on a table or cards in a deck, and we can pick one and we can ignore the others and let them go that our thoughts are very much like that deck of cards. We're more than those thoughts. A deck of cards, if we ignore it, just sits there. So when we engage with it, and if you have any thoughts that are troubling coming up, just from that deeper self, just say, I release that thought. It means nothing to me. Now, this is a consciousness expanding exercise. And after you've been doing this for a while, switching the gaze to see from that deeper self, you might get so good at it that you can actually see yourself sitting or lying, whatever you're doing, that you can actually disengage from the physical and turn that vision, that watch yourself up so that you get that sense 
of being greater than your body. You can actually see yourself. And you may be familiar with the term astral projection. And that's just another leveling up of this kind of consciousness expanding, deeper self vision activating, which I call soul vision. Of course, it has many other names. Um, and that's just a little exercise. But even in those moments when you are feeling overloaded and you're freaking out, if you just come back to the breath for a minute and say, I am the one having this breath. I am the one controlling the, how I, deep I take it. I am the one having these thoughts. It shifts the gaze and you will immediately start to calm down. So thank you so much for trusting me to guide you through this exercise.